In 1966, when Ray Adam Archuleta began his first combat tour in Vietnam, he was well prepared for battle, leading a squad of airborne troops who had trained and worked together at Fort Bragg. The enemy, the Viet Cong, were unlike any enemy Americans had fought since World War II. The V.C. were tough, brutal, resilient, determined, ruthless. Most of all, they were fighting on their home territory. The Viet Cong were deadly transformers, unassuming farmers and shop owners by day, but guerrilla fighters at night or when the opportunity was presented. The Viet Cong were masters of deception and booby traps, dangerous adversaries. Additionally, the VC had been at war since the 1950s, first with the French and then the Arvin and American advisors. It would not be long before Ray demonstrated to the enemy how fierce, determined, and selfless American soldiers are in the face of mortal danger. During his first tour in Vietnam in 1966, Sergeant Archuleta killed three Viet Cong in a single action, placing his own life between the men of his squad and the enemy before he was seriously wounded. Ray was medevaced to the United States and was awarded a Bronze Star for Valor along with his first Purple Heart for this action. When Ray returned to Vietnam in 1967, the war and his old unit had changed. During his recovery, the political and battlefield dynamics of the Vietnam War escalated, and the asymmetry of the ground war grew even more deadly. The 502nd was no longer made up of seasoned airborne troops who had trained together, but now consisted of a high percentage of draftees and non-airborne troops. This meant that Ray would be leading a squad very unlike the seasoned, cohesive squad he led in 1966. Ray understood the challenge he faced, and as was his character, he accepted his command with the maturity of a seasoned leader, and by leadership, by example, accepted risks to himself to save others' lives. Now, back in the fray, SFC Archuleta was fighting not only the Viet Cong, but also North Vietnamese regulars, perhaps more dangerous than the VC, because of the heavier armament they carried. And like the VC, the North Vietnamese regulars had fought the French in Arvin since the 1950s. In short, they knew the ground game well and were very dangerous and skilled adversaries. Time and again, SFC Archuleta chose to draw the enemy's fire to himself in order to cover his men and buy time for the evacuation of his wounded troopers. Such was the case in Ray's last encounter with the enemy mortally wounded, though he was. He held off enemy fire in order that one of his wounded men could be evacuated. For that selflessness and love of his fellow soldiers, Ray paid the ultimate price. In his book The Bridges at Tokyo Ri, James Michener wrote of heroic naval airmen who sacrificed their lives to take out a key North Korean bridge during the Korean War. At the end of the book, one of Michener's characters asks the question, Where do we get such men? Well, my friends, we get them from towns like Florence, Colorado. To read his award citations for his bronze star and three silver stars is to read the story of a true American hero, a common man of uncommon valor, a Coloradan in his country's uniform displaying over and over again the kind of selflessness under fire that makes all of us proud to live under the same Rocky Mountain skies that Ray knew and loved. SFC Ray Adam Archuleta is a true hero. To honor him on this special day is an honor in itself. As a Vietnam veteran, as a Coloradan, and as a very proud American, I am grateful that such a fine man as Ray Adam Archuleta put his life on the altar of eternity so that others, that you and I, might live to enjoy our own freedom. The State of Colorado honors one of our own by dedicating a section of Highway 115 to Sergeant First Class Ray Adam Archuleta. 
Sergeant First Class Archuleta was born in Florence on December 24, 1936, and was killed in action in Vietnam on September 7, 1967. He began his military career in 1954 when he enlisted in the United States Army at 18 years of age. After completing basic combat training, Archuleta qualified as a parachutist. For his years of military service and for making the ultimate sacrifice, SFC Archuleta was awarded the Bronze Star for Heroism, three Silver Stars, two Purple Hearts, an Army Commendation Medal, a National Defense Service Medal, a Vietnam Service Medal, a Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal, a Combat Infantryman Badge, an Expert Infantryman Badge, and a Master Parachutist Badge. The four highest ranking military decorations awarded by the Army for bravery in combat are the Congressional Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, the Silver Star Medal, and the Bronze Star with V device. In the Vietnam War, just over 20,000 Silver Stars were awarded. Within a four month period, Sergeant First Class Archuleta was awarded three Silver Stars for heroism. The following is taken from his Citations for Bravery and Heroism. Award of the Bronze Star Medal for Heroism. Staff Sergeant Archuleta distinguished himself by exceptionally valorous actions. On 26 March 1966, while serving as a scout team leader during a search and destroy mission near Thuy Hoa, Republic of Vietnam, as his four-man scout team traveled along a dark trail, Staff Sergeant Archuleta detected a Viet Cong moving in the dense jungle. He immediately moved to the front of his patrol, charged the insurgent, killed him. Moments after this initial contact, three men were pinned down by intense hostile fire. With complete disregard for his safety, Staff Sergeant Archuleta charged forward and killed two more Viet Cong before he was seriously wounded himself. Archuleta's wound was so serious he was evacuated to the United States to recover. He was awarded his first Purple Heart for this injury. Less than a year later, he rejoined his unit in Vietnam on 10 March 1967. In June of that year, he would be awarded his first Silver Star for heroism. While on a search and destroy mission, the point element of the 1st Platoon Company B suddenly became engaged in a firefight with an estimated enemy squad reinforced with a light machine gun. As the intensity of the enemy fire increased, Staff Sergeant Archuleta soon determined the precarious situation of the point element. With complete disregard for his own personal safety, Sergeant Archuleta jumped to his feet and charged through the withering enemy automatic weapons fire to within approximately 20 feet of the enemy machine gun position and threw a hand grenade into the emplacement, knocking it out. Sergeant Archuleta continued to advance on the enemy position and captured the enemy automatic weapons that had been abandoned by the wounded enemy soldier. Sergeant Archuleta quickly returned to his squad and continued to expose himself to the withering enemy fire while deploying his squad and personally directing their fire. Sergeant Archuleta on several occasions moved through the tremendous volume of enemy fire and personally pulled some of his wounded comrades to covered positions. His actions saved the lives of several of his wounded comrades and enabled the platoon to successfully assault and overrun the determined enemy force. On August 25, 1967, near Duc Phao, Republic of Vietnam, Archuleta was awarded his second Silver Star. While conducting a search and destroy mission, the point squad and platoon leader of Staff Sergeant Archuleta's platoon began receiving heavy enemy automatic weapons fire and were pinned down in an exposed rice paddy. Observing this, Sergeant Archuleta repeatedly exposed himself to the hail of enemy fire in order to properly position his men and direct their firepower. Seeing that the machine gunner and assistant machine gunner of the pinned down squad had both been wounded, Sergeant Archuleta, with complete disregard for his own personal safety, rushed forward through the heavy enemy automatic weapons fire to the machine gun position. After ensuring the wounded troopers were given proper medical attention and had been moved back to the safe position, he manned the machine gun and put out a heavy volume of firepower until running out of ammunition. Knowing that the machine gun was drastically needed in order to obtain superior firepower, Sergeant Archuleta fired his own rifle as he maneuvered from position to position in order to gather additional ammunition. 
While gathering the desperately needed ammunition, Sergeant Archuleta again opened up with the machine gun and was instrumental in saving one trooper's life and repelling the vicious enemy assault. Silver Star Citation, Third Award. On September 7, 1967, near Duc Pho, Republic of Vietnam, Staff Sergeant Archuleta distinguished himself as his platoon was moving a wounded man to a landing zone to be extracted when they were suddenly brought under a tremendous volume of enemy automatic weapons fire. Seeing his machine gunner wounded, Sergeant Archuleta ordered his evacuation while he rushed forward with complete disregard for his own safety and in spite of the enemy fire to provide covering fire. As the wounded man was too heavy to be carried by the medic, Sergeant Archuleta again moved to the fire and helped carry him to the safety of a nearby woodline position. During the woodline, Sergeant Archuleta was seriously wounded and in one last valiant effort, he ordered the medic to take the wounded man to safety as he stayed behind and expended his ammunition to provide the covering fire. From House Joint Resolution 19-1012, whereas Sergeant First Class Archuleta gave his life in the service of others and his sacrifice to his country should be remembered, and whereas it is fitting that we honor the life and valor of such a hero so devoted to country, and who saved lives directly in the line of duty. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the House of Representatives of the 72nd General Assembly of the State of Colorado, the Senate concurring herein, that Colorado State Highway 115, between mile markers 7 and 10.34, through the city of Florence, be designated as SFC Ray Adam Archuleta Memorial Highway. His family, the city of Florence and the state of Colorado are extremely proud of Ray Adam Archuleta's valor.